Hello and welcome to the Pop Chord Progression Boot Camp. So this boot camp is really all about the most popular chord progression of all time and learning to play it in a whole bunch of unique ways using chord inversions. So you're getting to develop two really important skills here. On one hand, you're working on a popular chord progression that will provide you with all sorts of ways to play, all kinds of the songs that you love, as well as your own improvisations and you're developing dexterity and chord familiarity and really getting comfortable with inversions. So you're getting a lot from this boot camp. So what we're going to be doing is running through the chords of the one, five, six, four progression in the key of C using a variety of different starting points and inversions. It's a boot camp, so I'm going to play and you can play along with me. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing and talk you through the whole process so you know exactly what to do. Um, so. Let's warm up those fingers and get ready to dive in. So we're going to begin with our right hand playing a root position C chord. So just get comfortable here, settle in. And once we're ready, we're going to move on to a G chord in first inversion. So what that means is I'm going to drop my thumb and my second finger. So I've got a B, a D, and a G. And I know this is first inversion because the G is the note on top in the first spot. Next we're going to head to A minor in root position. So this is the minor six of this progression. So A, C, and E. Now F in first inversion. So that means all that moved was my baby finger up to F and I swapped my third finger for my second finger on the C. So those are the chords of the progression. Let's work through that again. We're gonna do one, two, three, four to G, two, three, four to A minor, two, three, four to F, two, three, four, again, C, two, three, four to G, two, three, four to A minor in root position, and then F. Now let's add in just the root note with our left hand. So one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Now A minor, two, three, four, and F, two, three, four, repeat. C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, and F, two. Three, four. Let's do both hands. So one, two, three, four. This takes a little more focus. Two, three, four to A minor. Two, three, four, and to F. Two, three, four. Again, C. Two, three, four. Here's our G. Two, three, four, and our A minor. Two, three, four, and then the F. Two. Three, four. Now we're going to break it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now to the G. So all I'm doing is playing the exact same notes that I have been, but one at a time instead of all together. So I'm going bottom, middle, top, middle. Now here's the F, bottom, middle, top is now F. Bottom, middle, top. Middle again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four to the G. One, two, three, four. You can use your pedal if you want to kind of work on some tone and texture. You're welcome to do that. That's what I'm doing. Make sure you lift it between each chord change. And here's F. And back to C. So that's the first round. So we're just getting started here. So if you are going, oh my gosh, I don't have that mastered yet. Stop there, rewind, and just keep working on that format of this progression until you've mastered it. And what you're probably noticing already is that this is sounding familiar. It's sounding like songs you already know, because it, it is. So you're gonna be able to apply this to songs that you love because most popular music uses this progression. So it's very useful. Um, so, when you're ready, let's move on to the second set for this boot camp. So in, in this set, we're going to be playing beginning on 
A minor. So we're using the same chords, but we're just changing the order in which we play them. So this time our chord progression is going to take us from A minor, which is the minor 6, in root position, to F, which is the 4 in first inversion, then to C in second inversion. That means the C is in the second spot down from the top. And then all we have to do to get to the root position G chord, which is the 5, is bop our top two notes down each one step. So in the left hand, that's going to look like root position. The thumb steps up one to get us to F. Then everybody kind of moves to get the second inversion C shape. I've got a five, a two, and a one. And then everybody resets, just the top two actually, not everybody, come on Lisa, to get the G root position triad. So that's the, that's the path we're taking. Let's begin. Four passes, four to F, two, three, Four, and then our second inversion C chord, the top two notes bop down to get to G. Now let's repeat that. One, two, three, four, top note moves, and we replace our three with our two finger there. Now everybody moves. And then the top two shuffle down. Let's keep going. The secret here is to just get comfortable with the movements. So that you don't have to think too hard about where you're going. And it's a great idea to say the chord names out loud as you go, just to help you identify the inversion that you're playing. So A minor root, F in first, because the F is on top, C in second, because the C is in the middle, second spot, and then the root. So let's add in our left hand. Whoa, hello. One, <laughs> two, three, four, and then F. We're playing the root notes in our left hand, so that's an important thing to consider because sometimes the brain wants to play just the bottom note of the chord that we're on, which works out fine if you're in root position, but if you're in an inversion, it can get a little bit messy. So focusing on playing the root notes in the left. Let's do it again. Okay, so we've got A minor root, F in first, C in second, and G in root. Okay, so now maybe let yourself get a little fancy with the left hand. Add in some extra notes if you want to, just to make it a little bit fun. Let's do one more pass like that. This makes me think of Apologize by Maroon 5. Okay, so here we're going to go into hands together, so get ready, and one, two, three, four, everybody up, we're into F, and then C. And again, don't worry if this takes some time to get the hang of, that's totally fine. Follow along as best you can, and with repetition, you will get it. One more pass with our hands together. A minor. F in first. C in second. Okay, get ready. We're going to go with broken. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then F. So we're doing bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, and then root position. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. So do your best to keep up. But if you can, that's okay. You can pause it. Just work on these movements until they're cozy. One more pass, a little faster. Okay, one more time, just one more time. <laughs> That's set number two. 
Oh my goodness. So if you're going through this whole boot camp in one go, you might want to take a second just to stretch your wrists. I know mine's heating up a little bit. Um, I like to take my thumb and place it in the palm of my hand and just pretend like I'm pushing the front of my wrist into a wall. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. You can do that for both hands. You can stretch this way up. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your body's feeling good because um, we're going to keep going. So we have another set. So once again, we're changing up the order. We're changing up the inversions that we're using because every time we play a chord in a different Different inversion we're highlighting a different sort of tone in in the chord so the highest note is the note that your ear hears the most so while you're playing the same chord you're changing your experience of, of it a little bit which can be really really great when you're trying to get out of a rut or have a different jumping off point for melody or harmony or whatever it is you're doing so here's set three set three we're beginning on second inversion C chord so this at this point you're probably getting quite comfortable with this shape so G C and E then we're going to move to a root position A minor, which is, look at, all that has to happen is the thumb comes up. And then we're going to be moving all the way. This is going to be a big change. We're moving all the way to a second inversion F chord. So, so I'm taking the time to show you this before we begin. So A minor root all the way up to the F. And this is going to really help you getting comfortable moving across the keyboard. So just maybe practice that a few times first to get used to the movement movement. So maybe practice that a few times first just to get used to the movement. And then once you've got that, the final chord in the progression is the five this time. So we're going to have G right here. We're in second inversion, G's in the second spot. And then we're going to go back to our starting position of C in second inversion. So this one's a little bit challenging. The left hand will look like this. So five, two, one, G, C, E, A minor, all that has to happen is our five comes up to A and our three replaces on the, th on the uh, C. Then we're gonna do that big jump up to second inversion F chord. And then we're moving to second inversion G, which is just one step above F. So er, everybody just goes up. <laughs> okay, so let's give this a try with the right hand to start. So one, two, three, four. So just take a second to settle in. <sighs> take a deep breath, put a smile on your face. Remember, this is super fun. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, to A minor root, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now way up here. One, two, three, four. So we're kind of doing two measures or passes on each of these chords, just to give us time to settle in. So back to C second. Just paying attention to how this sounds different than the other ones. Same chords, different order. All the way up. And these inversion changes impact how we feel the sound, how we experience it. So let's add in just that root note with the left hand. Here we go. C. Play with dynamics here. No getting softer or louder. I chose to go up high with my root note in my left there. And then once again, you can add in more action with that left hand as soon as you feel ready or as soon as you'd like to. We could walk down to the A minor. another opportunity to walk that left down to the next chord. One, two, three, four, and G. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time like this. up that time I played the wrong inversion. I'm going to fix it. There we go. <laughs> G, they got me. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. Let's go hands together. Three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. So I brought my volume down just a little bit because it's low and it's kind of dark sounding. So I don't want it to be too much. The hands are also very close together here and that's fine up to the G. Try 
crescendo, and then back down. So you can begin to explore different ways that you can change the dynamic of this. You might already have some inspirations for an original composition, maybe. solid. I actually liked how it sounded solid better. And then up to the F. We're going to start to increase the speed soon. So get ready to go a little faster. yet. This is a good pace. Again. Getting a good rotation in the wrist. And to G. One more time, one more time. <laughs> the famous last words of a music teacher. <laughs> you did it you survived you made it through the popcorn progression boot camp and don't you feel inspired I know that I do I feel like I'm ready to go and create some wild and amazing improvisations so the cool thing is that this is just the beginning so I hope that this sparks some creativity for you I hope that you begin to explore and think about inversions in a whole new way um, so comment below let me know some of the songs that came to mind as you were playing this familiar progression and have so much fun playing along with this boot camp <laughs> <laughs>